This is year number four. Welcome to everyone who is watching, who is tuned in, who has registered. Um, my name is Kimberly Bowman. I'm the owner of Exquisite Enterprises Inc. And I have the pleasure of knowing and being a part of their family and getting on their nerve. <laughs> <laughs> the Owens clan. <laughs> um, Damien and Demetria Owens, they are the masterminds behind the Melanated uh, Natural Essentials brand, um, which is the title sponsor of the event, the annual Black Health Expo that we do every year. Um, previously, it was called the AGP Health Expo, but we changed some things. We're rebranding. We're doing more things. We're being awesome and just you know, just getting into our melanated culture and our history and tapping into our greatness and our crowns. And it's just been a blast. Hi, welcome. <laughs> We're just getting started. So, <laughs> but um, again, my name is Kimberly. Um, I want to thank everybody who is participating this year, everybody who is, you know, taking the time to view this, um, taking the time to participate. Um, we definitely are grateful for each and every one of you. Um, I know this isn't usually how we do this event, um, you know, but we're rolling with the, the <laughs> I know Damien is not feeling it. <laughs> we're rolling with the COVID punches right now. So, you know, COVID's kind of got, kind of got us in a, a headlock. See, if, if Damien was here, I would use him as the example of the headlock. But, <laughs> So, you know, we're making the best of it as we can, um, being able to connect with, you know, incredible people within the health and wellness industry here in Charleston, um, Black-owned businesses, um, you know, Black culture. This is, this event is all about celebrating that, celebrating our people, celebrating our work, to celebrating our knowledge, um, celebrating our health, um, and celebrating life. You know, um, this has been been the time this year <laughs> so i think we all just need like a few minutes where we can just kind of just tune out everything else going in, on in the world you know everything on the news the little orange man in charge and we just going to tune into our our people you know hear what these vendors have to say hear what our speakers have to share and we're just going to have fun you know um for anyone that is watching or going to be watching this afterwards we are going to have some health uh health resources and lots of information tips um and some other black owned businesses within the health and wellness industry on our website, which is www.mnehealthexpo.com. Say that again, www.mnehealthexpo.com. Um, anyone that's watching this and wants to invite anyone else to join, feel free to share the link. Um, feel free to send them to, to that website to be able to register and watch us. Um, or go find us on social media. Um, Damien, do you want to do the honors of telling everybody y'all social media handles? Our social media handles are yes. <laughs> melanatednaturalessentials.com. That's our own. <laughs> you can go to their <laughs> the next one would be YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook, Melanated Natural Essentials. Awesome. And well, oh, our sorry. third and final stop. <laughs> no, that's on our media websites. Um, um, we have a Melanated Natural info page. This is that's just for um uh, showing people how to live a better life, uh, eating better, um, exercising, uh, mental is always a must. And I, I try to stress that cause I, I have mental. So if your mental is not there, you, any, anything else is going to fall away side. So you won't exercise on point because you're not being consistent because of your mental and the same thing with eating it's the same thing. So that's what we try to stress. And I know there's other things out there. So that's why we want it uh palmetto uh community care to come on and speak and talk they talk and we also wanted uh epitome for ep epilepsy uh people don't know uh i have an aunt that has epilepsy bad bad so um this is all um as in our health that we as uh, melanated people we sit up here and we don't really recognize it we stress, um, like I have a high anxiety right now, but just because of this right here, I want it to work well. This is the first time us doing a virtual 
and um, I want it to work like it's a physical. And right now, my anxiety is through the roof. <laughs> well, we all can definitely understand, you know, having that intense anxiety right now. I know many people have had to switch gears and go virtual, you know, um, so we're going to work, we're going to make it, make the best of it that we can today. Um, I definitely appreciate you guys rolling with the punches and, you know, wanting to still go forth with this event and make it happen for the people because the people love the Owens family. So, <laughs> so you know, we, we just can't get enough of you guys. And every year, you know, I just learned so much from you all, you know, every time we do this event, you know, whether it's something new about a product, whether it's something new about my health um, or whether it's a new vendor that I need or whatnot. Um, so definitely, I appreciate and I respect you guys so much for just having the courage to still go forth with this, um, you know, with everything going on um, and whatnot. So y'all are 100% awesome to me. Love y'all to death. Love you back. <laughs> Thank you. So we are going to go ahead and get this party started. Um, I think we have our first speaker is in the his house. Um, let's see. Um, Palmetto Community Care and Eptone of Epilepsy. Are y'all with us? Y'all in the house? We are, we are, we are. I am Parrish from Palmetto Community Care and the Maggie Hi. online as well. How y'all doing? <laughs> we are good. <laughs> the floor is yours, sir. So you go ahead and you tell us about your wonderful organization, everything that you guys offer, um, where we can find you guys, um, and just how people can be able to help you guys in your efforts, you know. And also, you know, I think it would be really helpful just, um, you know, piggybacking off of what Damien said, you know, a lot of people in our community don't really know what a lot of these different conditions are, you know, unless we know someone with them, you know. So if you can, like, explain for, you know, the people that might be watching, um, you know, what exactly is epilepsy and what exactly you guys can do for someone with epilepsy. Hey, real quick, um, is there a way that we can share the screen? It says it's disabled. Um, you should be able to. Um, let's see. I think... Uh, Okay, yeah, now I see it. Okay. Okay, I think I fixed it now, so we should be good. And, um, you know, once it's your turn, then we can go ahead and um, double check to make sure that's working. Is that Maggie that said that? <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to be uh, sharing the slides for, um, for Parish, as you see. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, try it now and see if it'll allow you to. Okay, boom, I got you. <laughs> awesome, and I just want to clarify before we start, um, we actually do not work with epilepsy. We work more with HIV and AIDS prevention. Okay. And, um, type stuff, but yes, uh, Palmetto Community Care is what I am, me and Maggie are a part of. Um, I'm a prevention tester, and she's actually our outreach prevention tester and our condom distributor. And Palmetto Community Care is an organization, a nonprofit organization that, um, helps with getting people who need to know their status, getting them to that point where they can know their status. And if we find out that they do have HIV or AIDS, we also get them in touch with the resources that they need in order to um, live a very prosperous life with the disease. As we know, HIV is the virus that causes AIDS and especially in the African-American community, it's taken us out left or right. So we are doing our very best to, we're doing our very best to try to make it as easy as possible to if you do have it we got you you know and testing for us is completely free you don't have to pay a cent at all um and we're located right in north charleston in the i would say in the right between north charleston and downtown charleston so it's very convenient for us hiv testing as you can see on the screen it's free and we also do sti testing we give out condoms stuff like that and we also have a pep and prep program um, I don't know if many people are familiar with our PrEP and PrEP program, but I'll talk about that a little bit later. So HIV is the antibody screening 
that we use. Uh, we use two tests. We used one is a um, MC test and one is a determined test. Determined test is the test that we can see two to three weeks from your last time having a um, exposure to HIV. It's a really fast test and it's one of the most accurate tests that we do use. Um, a lot of people don't know about it, but like it, it, it matters. <laughs> Getting tested as soon as possible definitely does matter so we can get you the help that you need if you do need that help. You can go ahead over Maggie. And if Maggie wants to jump in at any point, that's perfect too. Cool. <laughs> go ahead. You're doing great. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. So that is our location for the time being. Um, 357 Meeting Street, North Charleston, South Carolina, 29405. And I'm going to make sure I clarify Meeting Street Road because we know we have a Meeting Street downtown. Meeting Street Road is where we are located and um, our testing. All of this information is correct, but I know as of right now, we had to halt on testing because we have a little bit of a revamp of our building going on. So as soon as we can get everything back on schedule, that is what our scheduled testing hours look like. And the numbers that you can contact, you can text the 843-790-4299. That is um, a texting app that we use and it makes it more convenient for people who are maybe at work or can't be on the phone to give us all the information we need so we can get them that syphilis, gonorrhea, chlamydia, and HIV testing. Um, we also use that same one, or you can call the phone number for our PrEP services and PEP services as well. All right, and Maggie, were you going to add anything else on to that? I think we might be having some technical difficulty, you guys. Give me one second. Uh... Okay, I got it. Oh, okay, you got it now? Oh, no, we lost you. <laughs> like, bumped down. Oh, um, I'm so sorry. <laughs> don't worry. Um, yeah, so we have some more slides. It just depends on um, how far we have about 15 more slides with more in-depth information, but it's totally up to you how much you want us to go ahead and share. Oh, sure. You can go ahead and share as much as you like. We are all, we are not going to turn away any valuable knowledge or information. <laughs> all right. You can take and sorry about that. I think, so I'm also presenting this weekend at a conference that's virtual. So I'm, I apologize for that. Um, it popped up <laughs> um, in the background. So that's what that extraneous noise was. But anyway. Please continue, Paris. Sorry for that interruption. Oh, no problem, no problem. So one of the most affected by HIV and AIDS is the African-American community in South Carolina. As you can see, those are the statistics of what we're dealing with. And we, we as a prevention team, there's about four of us, a part of a Palmetto Community Care, we are really striving and fighting hard to try to get more African-American people, especially African-American males who um, sleep with men, to get tested because there's not a lot of us showing up and we want our community to thrive we want our community to do better and we want our community to know that it's not it's the stigma behind getting tested is not a it's not a um something to be ashamed of excuse me um i i can remember back in the day a lot of people were um scared to even get tested scared to even know their status or to talk about it and i see that we're changing out as the train rolls on by i see that we're um changing the stigma and i want to fight for that more and i want more people to know that the testing is free you don't have to pay us a single cent whatsoever so that we can get more african-american people out there so we can get more of um, our people to know their status feel comfortable talking about hiv aids stds and being ahead of what the stigma is go ahead over maggie And I'm not going to talk about every slide. So if Becky wants to jump in, yeah, there you go. This is yeah, <laughs> yeah there you go. <laughs> you can go ahead and take one, Becky. <laughs> okay, cool. So this just talks about um, the um, some statistics pertaining to um, how HIV affects people living in the South. Um, the previous slide just um, kind of gives um, the factors that impact it um, in the South because unfortunately we most often have poor public health infrastructure, um, states refuse Medicaid expansion, um, there's a high rate of uninsured, 
Um, we also get into things like systemic racism and systemic, systemic poverty um, that affect people and their access to care. So in the South, um, in 2017, 44% of all persons living with HIV were in the Southern states. Um, in 2018, it got a little bit better. It dropped down to 43%. Um, but that still means over 511,000 people are living with HIV in the South. Um, and the reason the statistics are still, are from latest from 2018, it takes a few years for them to get everything together um, to release for um, accurate um, stats and everything. But um, what that means is one in seven people are living with HIV, um, but they are unaware of their infection. So even though over 511,000 seems like a lot. Um, there's still many more that don't know. Um, in 2017, 54% of all HIV diagnosis occurred in the southern states. Um, also, just a tiny bit better in 2018, it um, dropped down to 52%. Um, but those reasons that um, it seems so concentrated in the south are unfortunately because of those, you know, not having access to care, not having health insurance, facing stigma within communities. Um, so are, there are a lot of things that are barriers um, that hold people back from even getting tested or seeking care when it comes to HIV treatment. So um, part of what we do at Palmetto Community Care is we try to remove those barriers. Um, we try to um, make sure you know we have free testing. Um, we have services that we offer to positive individuals um, that will support them in the community. Um, we, if um, somebody is a positive um, individual, uh, we can get them access to help with housing, um, getting on insurance. Um, we even have a small food pantry. Um, so we try and um, connect them with every possible resource um, available and help um, you know, cover those costs or you know, have more cost-effective um, resources for them. Um, I'll do the next couple of slides if you want, and then I can tag team you. <laughs> All right, so um, this just tells you a little bit about what HIV and AIDS is. Um, HIV means human immunodeficiency virus, um, and AIDS is acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. Um, HIV is the virus that causes AIDS, um, but with all of the pharmaceutical technologies that we have in place right now, it's almost coming to a point where people who are taking their antiretrovirals are getting to a stage of undetectable. So, um, which means they cannot tr transmit HIV to another person. Um, so there's some debate in the community whether we need an actual AIDS diagnosis for, for how much longer, um, because, because it's moving on up. You know, we're getting more um, people on meds and getting them into care. Um, but the most important thing to know is HIV can spread through very um, specific ways. It's either blood or blood products. So that is blood, semen, vaginal fluid, or breast milk. Um, and most of the time it's through unprotected um, sex or through IV drug use. The ways that HIV cannot be transmitted is through air or water, um, saliva, your sweat, tears, or close mouth kissing, um, insects or pets, or sharing toilets, food, or drinks. And then, um, how about we'll, I'll, you have we'll, HIV. I'll skip the little videos, but basically that was just a little video that just tells us how HIV works, um, but we can make that available on our social media um, websites if you wanna check it out, it gives you more visual. So I'll tag team for Paris. She can start talking to you about um, what we offer as far as PrEP and PET. Awesome. Thank you, Maggie. So PrEP is a prophylaxis drug that we um, use at Palmetto Community Care. That helps for anyone who is um, who's a little bit higher risk on getting HIV and AIDS that prevents the spread of the drug. I mean, uh, spread of the disease, excuse me. Um, so what we do is PrEP is a program, like I said, usually designed for males who are sleeping with men. Those men will take the drug once a day and that um, pretty much blocks the contraction of HIV. It is a really awesome program. We've seen a lot of people, um, as you can see on the um, stream, PrEP 101, we've seen a lot of people come in recently um, to get this. And we've even had some females come in to get it as well. Um, 
just so that you can be extra precautious nowadays because we don't know what is going on in the water. We have Corona, we have a whole slew of things going around and being protected and bringing us um, on it as possible will definitely help. Um, and those at the bottom, it says, for you who are bisexual and gay men have HIV positive partners, they use it a lot. Um, it's really affordable. We have a pro prep program to where you, if you don't have insurance, we can get it to as low as I've heard people paying $5 for their medicine. So we really try to get that for them to make it easier for them to live a health, healthy life, even with someone who is positive. That's right. And we cover the labs that are associated with it because with PrEP, you have to come in every three months um, to get an HIV test, an STI test. Um, and different blood work to make sure your liver and everything is still working correctly. So part of the program is we cover those um, labs and there is a Gilead copay card um, that we sign everybody up for that we can. And basically as of right now, it covers up to $7,200 a year um, towards your medication. So, um, so that definitely helps. But if there are, oh, we've exhausted all resources um, that we generally use, we have other ways that we can make it accessible. PEP is the drug that is taken 72 hours after being exposed to um, HIV. So if you have sex with someone who may think they're positive, that's something that we recommend. Um, it's a really quick process. You give us a call, you text us and say, hey, you know, I may have had, um, I may have had a little situation where we uh, may have gotten exposed to HIV. And what we do is we have our own clinic, Truesdale Medical Center, and we will do all your labs for you and everything like that. We come in and we will make sure that you get the PEP um, medication that you need. We have a wonderful um, doctor on hand who will assess if you're um, eligible or not. Most of the time we do get you that as soon as we possibly can, because like, it's, like I said, it's 72 hours window um the sooner you get it the better it will work and it does work for everyone that um you give it to and these are some of the ways that you can think if you think that you are eligible for prep or that you may need prep um if your condom broke if you were sharing needles to someone was um not necessarily the safest person around we understand what it is or if you were either sexually assaulted that happens as well unfortunately we make sure that we try to get ahead of those things so if you need us just call us we try to say as soon <laughs> as it happens and we can go ahead and set you up an appointment to see our provider all right well that was awesome was that everything or did y'all still have a little bit more for us that's cool that this is just our contact information. We'll, we'll post some videos and information and how you can contact us. So we're on okay. Facebook, Instagram, Palmetto Care. Um, we do Talk About It Tuesdays or Talk About It Thursdays via Facebook Live where we discuss different topics. Um, and yeah, um, give us a call or send, shoot us an email. Awesome. And I'm taking a picture of all of this and we're going to have it on our website as well. So anybody that watches this later, um, they can contact you guys and know exactly where to go and how to find you all. Um, thank you so much, Parrish and Maggie. You guys are awesome and very knowledgeable. Um, I do have a question. Um, I am going to open the floor up to any of the attendees um, that may have questions as well, but I, I kind of have a question just because I'm curious. You know, I know um, HIV and AIDS are kind of touchy conversations for many people in our community. Um, I think health overall is a touchy, touchy soft, uh, subject for our community, but specifically HIV and AIDS, since it's such a you know, a big deal and it's such a, you know, a, a, a something that people neglect to talk about, especially when it comes to, um, you know, sexual activity and things like that. So I'm curious, like, do you guys see more like, like certain age ranges a lot, like older generations, maybe younger, maybe uh, even younger, I'm hoping not, um, you know, what kind of age ranges do you guys um, typically see? Let me tell you, I, I have been in the office recently and we have seen everybody. Everybody you could think of. I had this sweet old lady who came in the other day, 76 year old for testing. So it, wow. it, it ranges. We, I've seen them as young as 16 all the way up to her. So it does range and we try to make it as fun for everyone as possible. It's not like 
walking into a cold doctor's office and you're just like, ah, this is really nerve wracking. <laughs> no, usually we have really good music going on. Um, usually we have the um, atmosphere real comfortable, wearing couches, lounging around, just, you know, really inviting because we know the stigma, especially for black people, um, going to the doctor in general is, I, I still get very nervous going yeah. to the doctor. Myself. I think we all do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we make it as comfortable as possible. We um we have condom charts over the place. We 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 try to make it lighthearted as possible. Well, that's good to hear. Um, especially that, you know, because especially in the medical industry, you don't really see people, you know, make you comfortable when you come into it because come going to a doctor is intimidating. You know, especially if there's something going on and you don't know and. I mean, most people don't know about this stuff. So it's like, you're going into this doctor and you just, you know, but definitely it's, it's nice to hear that, you know, especially with a condition like that, that you guys are doing your best to be able to make sure people are comfortable, they feel safe, um, you know, cause I know, especially for anybody, even for myself, anytime I go to the doctor, I want to feel like I can talk to you. <laughs> like, like there aren't people listening or anything crazy going on. So I appreciate you guys again. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Very good job, but that's a big part of our name community. We don't want you to feel like you're walking into an office and we're disconnected in any way. No, I'm I'm here just like you, and I've even myself tested myself with another person to say, hey, you know what? If this is gonna make you feel more comfortable, I'll prick my finger and we can do the whole thing together. You know? That, wow, that's, that's awesome. Well, I definitely commend you guys. Um, Maggie, I know you said Jer, you are double timing right now, <laughs> but we <laughs> yeah. We are, <laughs> We appreciate you so much as well. Um, does anybody that's watching have any questions or anything like that? You can unmute yourself there, or if you want to type in the chat, um, we can go ahead and get those questions in, um, and then we'll move on to our next. Hey, Paris, you get a chance. Just stay on for a minute, because um, uh, I got a question. I got a couple of questions. I just, um, they both left my mind. <laughs> it happens. It happens. They both left my mind. So <laughs> just hold on a minute. Let me let me uh, revamp and try to get that back. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll also if anybody thinks of questions later on, um, once every all of our speakers have gone, we are going to have a a quick Q and A question as well. So Parish Maggie, you guys are still welcome to you know participate be a part if you want to you know turn off your mic in your video um and then at the end you know if anyone has questions um we would love your input so thank you so much again Yay. thanks for having us we no thank you problem. <laughs> all right so awesome 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 we are off to a great start um our next uh speaker i have it written down give me one second y'all Denise. Let's see. All right. Is that KP Beats? No. Is that the one? Oh, no. who's next? Because I had keep. You said Shanice. Epitone and epilepsy. Oh, epitone and epilepsy. Yeah. Hi. I know you was getting this mixed up. I was like, I, I, I said it was kind of both together. <laughs> I, I got you. you set me up. <laughs> I, no, because I, I, I was I wanted I wanted to thank both of them for coming on, but he, he set me up. So, <laughs> well, Sharnice, we are so glad to have you. Um, you have the floor. Um, we are so excited to be able to hear about your organization. So, you've got it. We are going to hush and we are going to let you have the floor. <laughs> um, I think she might be. Let me see if I can ask her to unmute. Hold on, I... Hi. Oh, now I can hear you. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> Charnice, hello. I'm going to turn off my phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I think we got you twice. <laughs> or I was going to say, you have a really, really, really I good identical twin on here. No, so. I, was walking, I was walking around. I, I saw that I was on the panel list and I'm like, oh my goodness, let me get ready. So <laughs> <laughs> thanks for having me. I was coming just to listen to what you had going on, but I'm Shrenice Benjamin. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. we can hear you. Okay, great. I'm Shrenice Benjamin and I am with um, Food for Life. I'm, not, I'm, I'm with Food for Life and I am a plant-based instructor. 
I'm sorry. So, I'm, I'm sorry. I, yeah. I'm sorry that I said what I said. I apologize. Oh, <laughs> no, that's what I was. T I was. I was delayed. I am a plant-based instructor, okay. and what I do is that. And this person back here look just like behind you. Look just like my daughter. She could be a twin. I kept looking at her. Look, look, but, watch this. That's my wife. And that's your wife. Oh yeah. my goodness. <laughs> Big. So I just want to say that thank you for having me. I have been on Zoom so many times, and I love the part about the. Um, I must commend the people who are dealing with the HIV because I used to work for HIV myself about 10, 15 years ago as a um, consultant and, and um, a person that went around and did the testing and provided services. So the services weren't that great back then and it was very hard, but, it, but they were building services up. So I, I, it's so much going on. So another thing that is threatening our people right now is the... COVID-19. And the reason why I'm here is because uh, Blacks and Latino or Hispanics are being adversely affected for COVID-19. And they're being adversely affected because of the fact of our health issues. Uh, it's like the fact that COVID-19 affect those who are suffering with obesity, diabetes, hypertension, and some other uh, health factors, uh, heart disease that, and respiratory problems that we as a nation of people that are dealing with. Obesity is number one that is really affecting our uh, community. So I received a grant for Jacksonville, Florida to teach COVID-19 to 30 people and I'm trying to register 50 people. These classes are free. Classes are usually $25 a class. And as a result, you will have the opportunity, opportunity to attend four complimentary classes. And those classes will be live cooking, demonstrations, resources, and a host of things. So I do have, I, I am ready to show my slide. I do have a slide to show you. So if you will allow me to, if I can share, Definitely. I would love to share my, my slide and some testimony about COVID-19. So let me try to do this share thing. And I'm going to get there. Let me know if you have any problems. Okay, I thank think you, you started. Good. <laughs> okay, thank you. So um, this right here is one of the outlines I want to show is that um, we are we are a part of an international group. The grant was given to eight people and I'm one of the eight. And we have people all over the world that is teaching food for life. And what we do, what we do, we do live cooking show in person. You do have a food for life most likely in Charleston, South Carolina, Raleigh and different places. But my territory is Jacksonville, Florida. So what we do, we link people to food that will suppress or minimize or just reverse the condition that's going on with you. My background is social services and I worked in the community. So I work as a compassionate person that know my community to, to reach out to my community to deal with this um, COVID-19 and all types of illnesses as a result of eating food that is what? Saturated with fat, uh, processed food, high in sugar and high in salt. Those are the elements that's really destroying our people, processed foods. So when we go out to eat, we normally do processed foods. So we are letting people know that you can eat at the restaurant, but try to figure out which restaurant you wanna eat. Do you wanna eat at a fast food restaurant or a sit down restaurant? The better the restaurant, the better the food. So I found that out. So I'm gonna try to find my I'm gonna take. I'm gonna turn this off. Off, and I'm gonna try to find my uh my little tab. I do have a tab here. Let me cut, shut that. Shut that off. Stop sharing and get back going to the basic. Of another thing I like to share with you, and that is my PowerPoint. And there it is, right there. And so let's, I'm going to start out with, now, can you all see this page of mine here? Can yep. you all see it? Yes, ma'am. Okay, great. Great. So this right here talks about COVID-19. Now, my COVID-19 class is going to start in October. 
But this, I have been doing COVID-19 classes most of the year. We do regular Food for Life classes, but we also do COVID-19 classes. These classes focus on anti-cancer properties, food that will help fight with anti-cancer, like I said before, diabetes. Now, uh, the question is, I'm trying to get people to sign up, people of color, <laughs> because that's what the grant is all about. Do you have to stay in Jacksonville? I prefer you stay in Jacksonville, but based on the fact that these classes are online, for me, for this group right here, those who sign up, you do not need to stay in Jacksonville. Um, I'm going to put down my email address, and then I will send you the link how to get started with the COVID-19 uh, classes. Now, this is a video that I show, but this video don't last long, but it talks about uh, getting, you know, what COVID-19 is all about and who it's affecting. And these are some of the other videos I show. I'm going to try to see if I can show this video. This gentleman right here, do I have time to show like a five minute video? <laughs> is it okay? Hello? Uh, yeah, I don't mind. Okay. So this is a five minute video of Eric Adams who became, um, I just want to show this video because this video tells a whole story, if I can show it. No, okay, show let me it. it, it look, okay. look, this is what we're doing it for. We're doing this for our community. Okay. And I and I and what I mean by if I can show it is if this machine act right. So <laughs> Right, right, right. So do it as um do it as the actual presentation and then it will play. Like go ahead and um press at the top where it says presentation. Oh I think I okay. Yeah. Oh thank you for that, but I think it's showing. Can y'all see the picture okay? Yes, ma'am. I can see it. Okay. He said presentation. I am Brooklyn Ball President uh, Eric Adams, and I'm really joined by the true heroes and sheroes. I went to the doctor. He stated, Eric, your diabetes is at a dangerous level. I gotta put you on insulin right away. I had nerve damage in my hands and feet. I lost a lot of my feeling on my right thigh from uh, nerve damage. And during that same time, I was losing sight in my left eye and the right eye was going out also. And so uh, little did I know that all of those symptoms were indicators that the diabetes had reached a very dangerous level. I don't think anything is more frightening than waking up and you could no longer see the alarm clock. I started out my public service career as a member of the New York City Police Department. I think I had probably the typical police slash politician diet. And you know, I love to always end the rumor right away that says cops love donuts. Um, that is not a rumor, it's a fact. I ate all types of donuts from jelly to cream to glaze. I always exercised, but my diet was horrendous. I'm um, on the move um, as an elected official, as a police officer at their steady midnight, so it was difficult to find uh, things that were open late at night. So whatever I can get, I would grab and, uh, you know, just munch on, you know, bad food habits. What was amazing is that uh, not one doctor that I visited um, said anything about nutrition and food. Books Over Knives plan was just so helpful when I read the entire book and I needed that plan. Cleaning out my cupboards, what to remove, looking at the list of things that you can eat, understanding the power of foods and what they do. And all of that information just made me so smart. In three weeks, my eyesight cleared up when I changed my diet. In three months, all the nerve damage was gone. 
the ulcer was gone. All of those symptoms that I had associated with my diabetes disappeared. And how old are you again? 57. And you have the kidney function of a 30-year-old. Your sugars look good. Mm -hmm. They're normal. Your three-month sugar, your A1C, mm -hmm. has gone from 17 to 5.7. And mm -hmm. that's now with no medication. Your inflammation is non-existent. And inflammation is a key factor also in diabetes and the risk for heart attack. In the past, my entire meal was built around my life. Now my life is built around my meal. I chop up my kale, my carrots, my other items that I'm going to use, and I leave them in bags in the fridge. And so when it's time for me to make a meal, I just take a handful of each and put it all together. 90% of the things that I eat is because I cook. I'm in control of what I eat, and no one else is in control of that. It's so important for me to keep my energy levels up. Early today, I had a protest with uh, private housing, that people were being left out. Then I had a meeting in public housing where some public residents was having a problem. Then I have my staff meeting with my team and keep them abreast. I have a public event tonight uh, with those who want to look at vegan slash plant-based lifestyle. I have two dinners that I have to attend to actually entertain my Chinese guests that came from out of the country. So if my energy level is not up, I'm not able to deal with the issues that people are having and continue to build those international bridges that I look to do. We can save more lives with plant-based diet if people will only realize they are enslaved to fat, oil, sugar, and things that are killing their body. And we're going to make sure that we allow our children to have healthy food. It's not a model, it's a reality. We're gonna raise healthy children and families in the borough of Brooklyn and in the city of New York. When you have a chronic disease, it cripples your entire family. And if I could teach families not how not to go through that and just experience life where their family members are not experienced Alzheimer's, where grandparents can't identify their grandkids, and families are going through chemotherapy, and uh, mothers are dealing with asthma. If I can do that, if I can change that, that is, the end of the chapter, and I mean I had a great life. I don't know about y'all, but I won't be like Eric Adams when I grow up. So <laughs> I'm telling you, I love so, this. <laughs> yes, and one thing, one thing about this gentleman. He had diabetes and he, had, he said his A1C was 17. I never met anyone A1C was 17. It was normally, it, it's bad when it's eight and nine and 10, but he was like 17. And uh, that was amazing that he turned things around without medication. And I can tell you that in our classes too, we, we talk about food, we also show recipes like this wonderful green smoothie. I'm, I'm not going to show the video how easy it is uh, to, to prepare a green smoothie and why green smoothie is preferred over regular sugary smoothie. How you got to watch out when you go to these places and buy smoothie because a lot of them are saturated with sugar. We also talk about the vegan diet and what is a vegan versus a plant-based and what is a plant-based versus the whole food plant-based. So we got we are not calorie counting people. We do not count any calories. We let you know what, what, you, what you should do. And these are some of the education and some of the things that we do talk about vegan, like I said, versus plant-based. Now, I, I, I will share my story and, and, uh, uh, in a moment on why I became uh, vegan and and or plant-based but here's some more uh, other delicious recipes and keep in mind that these recipes now we have thousands of recipes but each class i will present a different recipe and you can see that all these recipes are meatless you have meatless monday but people don't know what to fit their idea of meatless monday is to do something from the fast fast food restaurant but you can see how delicious this these foods are because the essence to eating properly is all about 
adding color to your food. Now, let, now, now today, I want you to keep this in point, keep this, keep this in mind, that if your food is golden color, if your food is white, then it's not necessarily a healthy fiber antioxidant based food your food need to be dark your food need to be colorful white is with with the uh you know the glycemic index you got to ask yourself you know some some white food you got to stay away from and so one thing about it we let you know uh you don't have to be a doctor or nurse we let you know follow the menu because the menu is from 1200 doctors i'm a part of an organization that is 1200 doctors and he also have a medical clinic and his clinic is already expanding a uh, telepathic clinic is expanding all over the united states but right now these are the places that there are so i'm going to stop sharing now and tell you that um behind me <laughs> is some of my some of some of the things that i do because of the fact that I go around and I teach and I go around and I do ever since zoom came out. It really had a, had a, uh, you know, be encouraged family who doing this zoom be encouraged because I'm telling you this zoom is a new world It's not going anywhere, but it had its challenges everywhere. I was teaching had closed down. I lost my job because of Zoom. So instead of me feeling sorry for myself, I started coming up with new ways like you all are doing to get the word out. Now, why am I plant-based? I'm plant-based because my mother, who I took care of for over 10 years, was diabetic. I did not know as a young person that diabetes lead to kidney failure. I did not know that. I worked, I, did, I was in the medical field. Uh, taking medication and even having diabetes and having a huge stomach and gastric, all that kind of stuff. The doctor said, you know that she's going to head to kidney failure. I did not know that. And she had, all, and, and as a result, she had a shutdown and she almost died, but she didn't. But I prayed to God and I asked God to give her a few more years. And she did have those few more years. And those few more years was not happy years for her. She had, she had, she had unhappy years. Thank you. I see somebody said they want to sign up. So um, I'm going to give you my email. Great. She had unhappy years and she was really, really upset about being on dialysis because I told you earlier, I used to work for HIV and I heard this phrase um, years ago and sexual assault. I heard this phrase years ago that I do not have, my life is not HIV my HIV is part of my life. So I'm not going to let HIV take over my life. I, that was profound. And I found out that because you have HIV, like, like, like Eric Adams, because you have HIV don't mean you sit down and die. You do something about it. You do something about it by improving your health, staying healthy, um, having a proper attitude. It's the same thing with COVID-19, the same thing with obesity, diabetes, any sickness that is going on with you. So I took care of my mother for 10 years, 10 long years, and I did not mind taking care of my mother. But at the same time, my mother, I had to take her to dialysis. Now I'm going to tell you something I didn't know. Did my mother been, my mother is dead now. She passed on and my mother passed on about seven or eight years ago. And I did not know that it costs five thousand dollars to have a dialysis a week i did not know that five, I, now that was seven years ago now i can't imagine how much it is now and i found out that there was more now i want you all to look around when you go outside there are more dialysis clinic now than almost fast food restaurants when i was a child you couldn't find dialysis clinic all dialysis clinic was what located where it was in the hospital, most, most was in the hospital. Now you got dialysis clinic everywhere and you got doctors that encourage you to go on dialysis. So I took care of her and she hated dialysis and she wanted to get off because it took four hours. It took four more hours to recover, if not 12. And she was sick every day, vomiting everything. And she passed on. I was there when she passed on in the hospital. Now, if anyone told me to be vegan or plant-based, I would have told you off because i'm from virginia virginia ham i'm from mac and cheese three cheese i knew everything about eating i knew everything about cooking but it took that one incident to change my mind i had enough 
pork, enough beef, enough chicken. And I was not that age that I was burning it off. <laughs> so when a young girl came to me, my daughter is in her mid forties. When a young girl came to me, she told me about being vegan and I didn't know what she was talking about. And I, I was looking at, she was, a, you know, she was other persuasion and I didn't know what she was talking about. And I watched four overnights and my lives changed because I did not want to, I love taking care of people, but I didn't want people to take care of me. That's where I am right now. So in closing, uh, sign up for my class because I'm offering to this group, uh, power meals at yahoo.com. And I will send you the link. And the class starts 6.30 p.m. October the 8th through the 29th every Thursday. So if you have any questions on me, thank you for this opportunity. I didn't know I was going to be a panelist, but be ye ready. <laughs> so <laughs> be ye ready. <laughs> so if you have any questions. Be ready. <laughs> Well, I was coming. Yeah, I have, a, I have an engagement, and the engagement have rained off. It's like raining. It's raining crazy here. Oh, but Lord. I, but yeah, I had an engagement. But any questions on me, please, I'd be happy to answer any questions. Wonderful. Um, you said you shared so much wonderful information. Um, I, I had, like, two questions, and I feel like Amy and I, I'm like, you're gone. <laughs> Does anybody else, any other uh, attendees or panelists have any questions? Feel free to unmute yourself. Anybody? Well, definitely, Ms. Shernice, if Hold you want to. Oh, sorry. I got one. OK. <laughs> okay. I don't know which one to go for. Oh, OK, so this one was for Parrish. I'm sorry. But Ms. Uh, uh, Ms. Benjamin was talking about it, too. So with the um, HIV, you said, do you think, this is for both of you, do you think it was is worse or uh, then, than it is now, and I'm talking to Miss Benjamin, and I'm talking to Parrish, Mr. Brown, because Mr. Brown is doing it now. Do you think it was worse then, or do you think it is worse now, as far as when you come in and you have to take the test and all that other good stuff? When you say worse, do you mean like worse as in, um, do you mean worse as in getting tested, or worse behind the stigma, or the stigma. what do you mean? Oh, the the, I'm sorry. Stigma? Yeah. No, you're good. Um, I think it's gotten way better now, to be honest with you, because I remember hearing um, back in the day that you would have to get your blood drawn and it could be a week or so mm -hmm. until you get your results back. But now I could, we could do your results right then and there. And if we find out you're positive, we immediately get you enrolled in medication. We immediately get you to the right people to do the right things. And we actually have counselors on hand who are willing to talk to you through the steps. So I Personally, I think it's gotten better. Okay. Um, I think that this is only getting better from here on out. Because right. the fact that we have PAP now, which will, if you were exposed to it, will stop it. And you well, hold on, well, what, what's that? PAP, PAP is PEP I was talking about. That's the 72 hour drug that All you right. can take after being exposed to HIV. So say you had sex with someone who had HIV and they thought they were taking their medication every day and all that kind of stuff. and um, you think that you may be exposed to it, uh -huh. we give you that 72 hour drug in that, well, give you that drug in that 72 hour window and that immediately stops it, it dead in its tracks and we'll test you again um, a couple of weeks afterward to make sure that you don't have oh, it. Oh, so that's how much progress has been making. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Because right now you don't hear anything about it when, I mean, when you hear COVID, you didn't, I didn't hear nothing about no AIDS or HIV. Yeah, it's real funny. We were we were just talking about that in our last staff. Oh, okay, meeting. all right. Funny how that, that just, yeah, yeah. We're working on it. <laughs> we're definitely working on it. <laughs> I like to say, I like to say when it, okay, um, I'm not an expert on HIV. I worked in the field and I was a victim's advocate. Mm -hmm. And I found out that things, uh, and I also was an HIV uh, counselor at night, oh. I'm a consultant. I found out that things get worse. Things, things were worse back then because of lack of knowledge. Okay. Um, when when there was a lack, I had to go in the community, and 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 I hate to say this, a lot of things are political because a lot of HIV programs was uh, federally federally funded, uh -huh. and back then the churches were in control of, of a lot of the programs, and there and we had to do a unit of service, and he probably Mr. Parrish probably know what I mean by that, and contacting people. Uh -huh. So as a result, 
uh, there was not medication available the way there were certain places you had to go for medication and then you have to tell the difference between HIV and AIDS and that and 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 then there's a level of disability that you can receive so mm -hmm. so it was it was bad because people frowned on homosexuals and people who are transgender uh -huh. and they and and they were openly discriminating against now we are in a culture so everybody who homosexual got AIDS I mean that was how it was you was, and then the preachers yeah. were preaching it then yeah. we found out that AIDS was as a result of not only that but people who go to jail and I and I like how you know people go to jail and come back. You come back. You in jail, but you marry somebody. Black females were highest. Yeah. And one thing about it, this is funny. I used to work in a nursing home. Um, nursing home recipient had high. Some of them had uh, STD because they were having sex big time. Okay, hey, Mr. Paris, that's what you were saying. <laughs> the, you said the oldest one was like sixty years old. Yeah, she was very open um, about it. She was like, "I'm getting a new boyfriend. We got to make sure we." In this together, doing it right. I was like, <laughs> okay. That's what I'm saying. And then, and then on top of it, keep in mind that if they were living in senior citizen, they share the same man because the man was still uh, 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 low. You know, you had five against seven, and I had some oh, story to turn your head. Oh, no, no, no. so, Y'all, believe it or not, um, syphilis <laughs> and gonorrhea and chlamydia are higher in older people. You, you. My old boy. Yeah. Wow. You just blew my <laughs> head off. Know, it's way. like, I'm wow. not like, I'm kind of not surprised, like, but it's just like, so mama, like, what you doing, mama? <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, 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 so I, I thank God that we are wiser, but I think our culture is, 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 is open to a lot of things. You see it on TV and everything. So I think that's a good part that people are not being discriminated against. You lost your job. You, people were scared to touch you. You were scared to do home visits and back then because of lack of knowledge. So that's all I have to say. And you'll be surprised. People are still a little bit, um, a little <laughs> bit ignorant to it nowadays as well. But like, like I said, Palmetto Community Care is doing a really good job in trying to make it more of a community-based thing instead of the whole stigma. Like when I was in college, I went to the University of South Carolina, Beaufort in um, Beaufort, South Carolina and Hilton Head, South Carolina was one of our campuses. And um, come to find out, there's this little area called Sun City that has some of the highest rates of HIV and AIDS in all of South Carolina. And there wasn't a clinic at all you can go to. You can go to DHEC, but DHEC gets to have a three month appointment mm -hmm. Just to see somebody, you know? Um, yeah, it was a little ridiculous. <laughs> hey, question. Mm -hmm. Paris, I need that background you got, man. It's real calm and super. <laughs> oh, yo, I was like, I was saying that the whole time. I was about to message him and be like, yo, where'd you get that? <laughs> Listen, I can tell y'all right now how to do it. It's real simple, real easy. Please give us a secret. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> what you go and you go to Zoom and you go to preferences or some people may have it as settings okay. and you do virtual background. Right. That's dope. That's oh, dope. Look look mind blown. We both had our mind blown today. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, oh that yeah. From? <laughs> Listen, and they got a bunch. I'll switch it up on you now. They got a bunch. Oh, man. Now <laughs> you about to have me in here playing with this. Oh, nah. I'm not even playing with no more. Listen, okay, you know what? Let me play with this stuff a little bit. Because now I'm feeling away. Uh, we got Tika on the line. We got Tika on the line. Y'all are her trip. Um, I had one quick question for you guys, just because we were talking about older people. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when it comes to like the HIV and AIDS and things like that, um, and Mr. And Ms. Benjamin, you were talking about, um, you know, in the video that we saw, you know, that was an older gentleman as well. Um, and you shared, you know, a little bit about your mom and your experience with her. I, I'm just, I, I'm curious because I, my dad recently passed away earlier this year and he was a very stubborn, <laughs> a very stubborn man. Um, Y'all know all men stuff. He was actually stubborn, but um, you know, it's. I'm just curious, just to see like what advice you would have for you know anyone that might be listening, dealing with a a parent that's older, that's getting sick, and things like that. How to like you know because there's always like that, that friction. They don't want to like listen. They don't you know they got it all figured out. They got it all mapped out. You know what advice would you give to like people like us <laughs> that are like trying to just be like hey. <laughs> 
Just listen for a minute. I'm trying to help you. <laughs> well, I like to say that as a caregiver, um, my mother did not hear anything. Uh, there's a lot that came into play. Uh, we don't inherit, keep this in mind, we don't inherit bad diseases. We inherit all the time. We inherit bad cooking. So my mother, she ended up, I try to tell her, mom, you can't eat, you on dialysis, you're on a special diet. And she was just telling me off like, I, I'm grown, you can't tell me what to eat. And, and, and I met Kimberly, like uh-huh, you can't tell me what to eat. And then, and then, and then my father was the same way. We, we grew up hungry, uh, we were on the farm hungry, that's why we eat so much. So, so I found out that I said, mom, you're gonna feel better. And, and it's like this, it's like being, I'm not, I've never been on drugs, but this is uh, to the extent of addiction, but it's like this you have to be down in order to listen. You got to be way down. And if once you become way down and you refuse to listen, just like being, you know, just like AA, you have to be down. And my level down is not your level down. And my mother, what got my attention was watching my mother die in the hospital. I walked in on her when they were um, cracking her open. And I, and I, being social service, I knew how to go in the hospital. That's how I got in there. They were like, how you get in here? So, I knew that I did not want that to be me. My father later became a double amputee. He's a preacher. He became a double amputee and I did not want that to be me. So you have to love, you know what? Accept your parents in love and you, this is what I suggest, cook healthy food for yourself. Offer it to them. Give them an opportunity to try it. You focus on healthy eating that's colorful, looking delicious, and try it. And have that balance off. Don't preach to them. Just say, I love you. I, th this has less fat. You'll feel better if you don't do so much fatty food. Your arthritis will, will, will ease up. And if they listen, they listen. But you can't. No, no, no. I told, I'm my, you. <laughs> I told my mom I'm going to just tie her up to a chair and just cook for her and force feed her. I told her, I was like, lady, I'm not doing this with you. <laughs> But I, de I definitely, like, can relate to that whole, like, you know, the stubborn parent thing. And I'm sure many of our other attendees and things like that can relate or know of someone going through that as well. So does anybody have any other questions, anything, any other questions you want to ask? Um, if not, we still are going to have the Q&A session later on before we wrap up. Um, any questions? I had something, this is Maggie again. I was just going to um, throw out a couple other points um, on different things. For your last question, you were asking, you know, advice on, you know, trying to guide, um, you know, our elders on, on health and stuff. I'd say it's never too, you're never too old to learn. And I think that the reason that there is, uh, it seems like Pierce said, there's a high prevalence of STIs, especially in the younger generations, college and in older. And I think it's because it goes back to our original education. When you're young, and especially in South Carolina and the South, the sex education we receive is you don't want to get pregnant, is the first thing that you learn. And so we routinely get clients that come in and we ask, you know, part of the risk assessment that's confidential, we say, you know, how often do you use condoms? And more often than not, when we have a, a college student in there, they're like, oh, I don't use condoms because I have an IUD. And we're like, that's great, honey. You know, you're not going to get pregnant, but have you thought about chlamydia, gonorrhea, syphilis? Um, not only will it complicate your IUD, but you don't want to complicate your health, you know? Um, so, and I think the same goes for when you're older, you don't have to worry about getting pregnant generally, you know, once you're past a certain age. So then you're not in that same frame of mind of, oh, let me be cautious with uh, my activity. It all goes back to like one thing um, that's focused on. So I find that to be kind of interesting. But yeah, and then to touch on from earlier, um, Paris did mention, we, we can um, legally without permission um, because the age of consent is 16 in South Carolina, um, offer free HIV testing um, and it's confidential. Um, so, but sometimes when we partner on certain testing events, especially if it's at a school, um, we go by the wishes of that host of, hey, please let them be 18 and up because we don't want to get into that, you know, parent child thing. And there are a lot of um, HIV laws um, pertaining to children that sometimes it might not make sense um, because if a child is found out in the state of South Carolina to have HIV, um, like say through some 
some kind of medical attention at the school, the school, if I'm remembering correctly, cannot expose the child to their parent. Yeah. They have to keep that information, um, you know, medically sound. So it, you know, taking the HIV laws class, you know, as we're preparing for the positions we're in, Parrish and I, you learn a lot of things where you're like, whoa, okay. Um, and it doesn't make sense in some cases and in other cases it does. So that's really what kind of guides, you know, our testing. Um, but, you know, really it has to be, you know, for each person, each family, it's better if it's a family conversation um, about getting tested and, and, you know, using protection. And the big up what Maggie said, that's something I fight for too tremendously because I went to, um, I went to Charleston County School of the Arts and I have friends who went to West Ashley High School and West Ashley High School had a whole different um, talk about how sexual health and stuff like that than we did. We were just told, don't have sex. Yay. But then I heard from <laughs> people at West Ashley were getting thrown condoms and was like, don't get pregnant. And, and I mean, that's great and all, but like that doesn't, that doesn't do anything for us. Like give us the statistics that we need so we can better our, not only our community, but better ourselves, better ourselves. Yeah, so a lot of what we do when people are coming in for testing, we're kind of resetting that sexual health re education. And mm -hmm. like Paris said, we have some good jams playing. You know, we have, I think our team is the most representative prevention team, dare I say, in South Carolina. <laughs> um, it's 75% African American and uh, a whole lot of queer too. So, <laughs> you know, we appeal to those communities. We even have what we call our condom bar set up in the testing lab. So we're like, hey, do you need any condoms? Um, and they'll be like, well, I don't know, but it kind of makes it a fun experience. If they can turn around, they see 20 different jars of 20 different times of condoms. <laughs> they can go through and be like, oh yeah, I want the rainbow. I want the, you know, this and that. Mm -hmm. So we try to make them own their experience and that makes people more comfortable all around. Well, awesome. These are all, this is all very wonderful, very great information that's being shared. I appreciate you so much, Maggie, Paris, and Ms. Benjamin. Thank y'all so much for sharing all of that. Um, we do have one quick question, and let's shout out Damien for getting this background together. <laughs> let's give him a shout out. Um, don't worry, mine is coming. <laughs> hold on, hold on, time out, time out. That's, a, that's, that's my chalkboard up there. That's why you see that frame up there, but I'm going to get it right. <laughs> now we're about to have a competition whose background is better. Hey man, I'm Both coming. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> no, um, Miss Benjamin, tell them this this online thing is starting to get a little nice out here. You know, you know, you know, right. you know, you know I had to learn, I had to learn Zoom. I had to either learn Zoom or die in my business. <laughs> <laughs> so, so and guess what? Um you can make your own background too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, we got one more question. Um, one of our attendees um, asked in the chat, how often should you check your levels for vitamin deficiencies? Mm. Anybody want to take that question? I can answer on the, on the part of uh, somebody said they want to sign up for uh, Zoom for my class. I'm trying to sign her up now. Oh. Um, I can talk about vi vitamin uh, deficiency because vit vitamin deficiency is, is crucial for people who are on plant-based diet. Uh, you don't, you get plant-based di diet from the bacteria, uh, bacteria and animals, but you don't, you have to be very careful and you have to take a vitamin supplement. Now, if you take a good vitamin supplement and that's in your multivitamin, uh, you can take it and you don't have to take it every day. It's always good. Let me go back. It's always good to consult your doctor on your vitamin B deficiency because plant-based diet, it can be crucial on a neuro neurological effect. So I take my vitamin B. I have, I have a nutritional yeast that has vitamin B in it. And I make sure I have enough of vitamin B. But it's not as crucial that you got to take a whole lot do a, do an overabundance according to Dr. Neil Bernard of the Food for Life Association. Okay, not according to Shernese. I go by his his recommendation, and he's a medical doctor with licensed dietitians. So he tells you, for plant based people who don't do vitamin B, 
because they're not eating beef and stuff like that. That's how we do it. Okay. Well, that was awesome. Thank you for that question. Um, I think we are going to, oh, sorry. No, What's I'm going on? Saying to, because, you know, we trying to learn, um, not saying we vegan, we just eat healthy. You feel me? <laughs> so we talk about, you know, vitamin D is the sun. That's automatic. Um, just get 10 minutes of that. Um, almond, almond milk is another one. Uh, what was, what was the other one, baby? No, no tuna. We don't do tuna. <laughs> don't do well, I'm saying she <laughs> still eats like oysters and stuff because it's not the wrong with oysters, you yeah, know. But no, I don't eat that. But um, Mitra, I got your back. <laughs> the other one with vitamin D is oranges. So orange juice, orange, yes. nasty squeezed orange juice, not the one you buy in the store and yeah. Yes, oranges is good. It, it has a vitamin C and beta carotene. Anything mm -hmm. that is orange is good for you and it's, it has great mm -hmm. cancer fighting properties. Yes. So, so with Food for Life, uh, those people who come to my class, I would give you a little, I have a little flyer and it's colorful. It's called a rainbow flyer. And besides each color are the foods that you supposed that you should eat. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you're not going to be people. First thing people say about people on plant based. I'm not trying to turn into one here into vegan. I, my husband, I'm in a mixed marriage. I'm in a mixed marriage. No, my husband's not white. He's a meat eater. That's where it's mixed about. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, Lord. That was funny. <laughs> so, so one thing about it, I found out that, I found out that I had to, when I, got, when I married him, I was not plant-based. I was not plant-based and we had just got married and I became plant-based in about a year after I married. So that was really messed up for him. So one thing about it, it was, you know, you, you, you follow the recommended uh, uh, menus and recipes. You're not going to miss out on your nutrition and you're not going to miss out on your protein. You do not need animal. Almond meal has protein. You don't need animal meat to get your protein. Look at, my mother the same. look at the gorilla. Look at look look at okay. Look at the gorilla. Look at the gorilla. Gorilla is plant based, right? Yep. Okay. My, Elephants. Okay, I rest my case. Giraffes. My... <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Thank you all so much for that um that awesome answer to that great question. Um and thank you again to Will for that question. That was awesome. Um I believe we have our one of our sponsors on. Hey, Demetrius. Hey. Oh, he, oh, he, I, was about to say, I was about to say, we're the man of the hour. <laughs> we have our sponsor with us now, so we're going to take a quick break in the presentations and give her the floor to be able to talk about all the wonderful things that her organization does. Um, so, Tika, are you, can you hear us? Are you with us? Can you see us? Let me see if I can. Hey, can you guys hear me? Yep. Yes, we can. Oh, okay, good. I'm not on for long, Kim. So I just, I jumped on because I just got back from Daniel's Island and I just wanted to come and say hi and give me a second because I never, I'm on my cell phone. Take your time. We just love Hold to on. hear from our wonderful sponsors Not and sure. amazing black okay. businesses in Charleston. <laughs> can you guys see me? Yup. Hi. Hey. Oh, we like your hair. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank Super you. I, <laughs> I just got back from a training in Daniels Island, so I'm kind of rushing, but I wanted to make sure that I stopped in and said hello to you guys. I love, 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 love thank that you. the Health Expo um, was able to go on this year with this crazy COVID. Um, I love the Owens family. Exquisite, Kimberly. I was good to see see you guys oh my gosh it's good to see you guys um <laughs> the conversation that i jumped in was very good i i mean you know we all want better health and better i think we're thank you breaking up just a little bit tika can you hear us to make sure that we know things that we may not be privy to and we get, we get some understanding and some learning in that. Um, but just really quickly before I jump off, my name is T. Hines. You can see that. Hold on, I think we lost her again. Hold on. Oh. Oh no, I'm gonna put an information in the, um, in the chat. 
Okay, I think we might be having some technical difficulties with Tika, so hold on. Go ahead. Oh, okay, can you hear us? Oh, did I jump off? So no. I'm having some, I'm on my porch. I don't know if y'all can see my plants. I'm, I jumped on my porch. Oh, hold on, out. Are you on Wi-Fi or you on your phone? You on wi my phone. You Wi-Fi off your phone? Uh, no, Wi-Fi is on my phone. Oh, okay. It might be the area, but no, 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 I think no. we, oh. No, no, what I'm saying is you might have to take the Wi-Fi off because oh, usually yeah. when I take, when I use my Wi-Fi on my home and I go outside of the driveway, it starts disconnecting. So is it disconnected? Yeah, that, that been yeah you might have to disconnect your Wi-Fi off your phone so you can just go off the internet off your phone. Okay, let me see if that works. I just, I just disconnected it, so. Better? All right. Yes, we can see you. <laughs> Y'all are too crazy. That's why I love the Owens family. I, when I first met you guys, it was at um, an event Candace Kringle was putting on at Mount's Corner. Yeah. And I was like, who is this guy with this bowl walking around with smoke? You know, it was just the crazy. I didn't know anything. I had just started my health journey after my mom passed away. So listening to that conversation, um, you know, put something in me. Kimberly, you're absolutely right. We all know someone that's going through something that's either transitioning to change to be better or wanting to be better. Um, and what I was saying earlier is that I just, I love how you guys, you know, put yourselves into the community to make sure that our, our culture and our people know um, what we need and what we can do to help ourselves if we don't know. Um, as far as my business is concerned, I own Elite Tax Group. I'm at 1625 Remount Road in North Charleston. I um, prepare taxes. Uh, we do accounting, bookkeeping. I dabble in some credit score improvement and also some business credit score building for small businesses. I do those things. And um, I can't be on long. I got to go because I just got back from Daniel's Island. Um, I can't be on long. But one of the things that I do think about when I, when I um, started coming to your events and just the health um, piece of it, that financial piece of health, if you don't have your finances in order or some type of strategic plan for your life, that causes all types of things and stress and issues and problems. I have been there. I've got all my little money. I had a meeting with the people <laughs> with people who need some money today. But if you cannot financially plan your money um, the correct way, it, 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 you, you take a risk of putting yourself into some type of um, space to where like the coronavirus came into play. People didn't have good credit. Businesses are failing and closing and problems and it causes a lot of stress. So that's one of the things I focus on in my business is trying to help get people into a better financial um, goal, a better financial situation to where, you know, when it's time, when it's, when we're in emergencies, when we're compacted the way we are now, that they're set up in a way, the way they can withhold and withstand times like this. So I love you guys. Love you, love you, love you guys. Love you, love, love you. you. Love what you guys are doing in the community. Love you, Kim. I haven't seen y'all. Oh, it's so good to see you guys. So good to see y'all. But I just wanted to, um, it's been an honor to sponsor this event. I believe in it so much. Can't wait till next year. I gotta Thank go you. because the kid is gonna, she is, she gonna, <laughs> we done been all over today and I haven't eaten any food, so I gotta go get some food. Um, in go here. get that. Go get that food. <laughs> we gonna do that. We gonna go do that. But again, my name is T Hines with the Elite Tax Group. I'm at 1625 Remount Road. If you're looking for me on Facebook, all handles will be Facebook, Instagram. I don't know. I don't use Instagram that much, but on Facebook, we are at Elite Does Taxes. So if you search us for Elite Does Taxes, you'll find us on Facebook. Come on in. I'm, I'm sharing um, tax um, tips for the rest of the year, all kinds of stuff. It's good to see you guys. Love you. And congratulations on your event. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much again for coming in and gracing us with your presence. All right. So now that we have had a word from our lovely sponsor for this event, we are going to go ahead and transition into our next vendor. Um, I believe it is KP Beats. Are you with us? Are you in the house? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? I don't, Where you at? I don't think she's in. She's not in? Nope. Uh, let's see. All okay. right. Okay, go look through there. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah check that out. Uh, um, I don't see her on here. Mm -hmm. Um, well, let's just keep the party rolling, and when she rolls in, we can go ahead and um, you know, get to know her. So um, we're gonna pass it off to you guys, the beloved Owens clan, hey, which hey, I hey. love, which I love funky little background. I don't yeah, yeah. care. I'm gonna go on. I'm gonna put myself on mute and go get mine. So watch I don't this, even care. Watch this. It may be little and it may be funky, <laughs> but it's funky and it's little. <laughs> Y'all are a trip. Um, so for those who don't know, who are just watching, um, just tuning in, just getting familiar with all of our crazy faces and our jokey selves, <laughs> uh, Damien and Demetra Owens are the owners of Melanated Natural Essentials. Um, previously was AGB, but now they are rebranded and powered up and going in a whole new direction, doing wonderful, awesome things. Um, I've had the pleasure of knowing these crazy people <laughs> for over five years now, feels like 20,000 years, but because you know, we all get grown now, but, <laughs> but it feels like longer. <laughs> Why y'all look around like that? <laughs> no, I'm, like, try, I'm right trying here. to get, I'm trying, no, I'm not doing that. I'm just trying to get her to type Tika's information in on the, in the chat. That's okay. <laughs> but, um, definitely, uh, love these, uh, love these people. Um, they are very knowledgeable, very helpful. Um, you know, you've probably seen them at so many different events around Charleston. Um, so many different, uh, avenues when it comes to black health and wellness in Charleston. Um, uh, I really feel and believe that they are leading, a new generation of just knowledgeable people and just doing wonderful things. And I'm just happy I, I've been able to be a part of the journey with y'all. And I just feel like a proud mom. But, <laughs> but I'm going to pass off the floor to them to tell us about their products, um, tell us about themselves, their journey. Um, and Demetria looked like she got some stuff to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he's open. Oh, you already know that was going to happen. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and pass it off to y'all. So yeah, get your Ooh. background right. It, I'm going to go do that right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So my name is Damien, and this is my wife Demetria Owens. Hello. Um, we're we're doing melanated natural essentials. That's our business. That we do a um, uh, we we make our own products. Um, we was formerly known as AGB, Always Gift Baskets. Um, we did that for four years. We promoted that for four years. And, you know, when people grow and they upgrade, um, they do better, they move on and they progress. So that was ours in that case. Um, we also, in the progress of learning to make our own, um, our own ingredients and our own product, um, my wife is allergic to a lot of things. She's allergic to majority of citrus and majority of berries. So in certain stuff that we was putting in the baskets at the time, she was allergic to. So we had to try to figure out what ingredients were good. And um, we chose to start making our products to see what was good for her, what was not. What was good for her skin and what was not. What would she break out with and what would she not. Um, so basically she's test dummy. <laughs> <laughs> um, besides that, <laughs> um, so we, we didn't even know we made our own line until we just stepped back one, one day and was just like, look, we made this, 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 and this, you know, we should just make our own, our own line product and just call it Melanated Natural Essentials. Mm -hmm. Um, the name didn't come like that, but, um, figuring out what we was doing it for was for my wife. And then the next thing was just giving the information out to um, the community and stuff like that. Like there's other ways of using soap without using the other soap. So say like this. So um, your Dove soap, your Ivory soap, your Irish Spring soap smells good and stuff like that, but it has fat in it. So the fat clogs up your pores when you're washing up. So you smell good, but it's clogging your pores. You can't, mm -hmm. you can't, you can't detox like that. So you would, uh, we made a, uh, a vegan soap that doesn't have that. So we have a bar soap that doesn't have that. We have a shea butter, it's shea butter and chamomile, cocoa butter and oatmeal. And then we have a charcoal, activated charcoal uh, vegan soap also. So it doesn't have any of the fat in it, 
that will clog up your pores. So it actually just cleans and it's squeaky clean. Then we have a body wash that, I mean, you, you can tell the difference the first time you use it. So it's just stuff like that. And we try to tell, you know, people in our community, you don't need to go that way. You can go over here. Um, and it's just mostly, I think people just don't understand, um, you know, the pricing and stuff like that. Like if I told you, okay, this soap will, will have you better off. So you can't, you know, you can't detox with, with fat in your pores. So that it keeps it inside. Is another thing was like, um, I think we was doing uh, deodorant. We started looking into deodorant and stuff. So you know it has aluminum and all types of chemicals in it. And aluminum stops you from sweating. It stops you from detoxing and stuff. That's why you don't smell because it stops all that and keeps it in there. Now, for my wife, when I found out that that keeps it in there, I, I started finding out other stuff like the aluminum keeps the uh, keeps you from sweating. So that's how most women have breast cancer because they can't detox under the arm. So if they can't detox under the arm, where you think it's going? It's going right to their breast. Boom, now they have breast cancer. And there's a, other, a host of other things that add on to that as you know, we eat cancerous um, foods and stuff like that. But that's, that's helping the process of not detoxing. So um, I tell my wife when she sweats, cause she's an alien. Um, when she sweats, <laughs> I told her, you you want to sweat. You just don't want to smell when you sweat. Right. So um, we found some things to help us out and stuff like that to where um, you don't, you sweat a lot, but you don't smell. And, and that's all anybody wants. I mean, I could deal with the sweat and I go home, wash up. We just don't want to smell in the process. That's it. So um, I don't know. I think that was it. You want to talk? You know how I like talking. Yeah, but talk because people who that never heard you talk keep saying I be I take up all the spotlight and stuff. Because you gonna jump in anyhow. Yeah, I'm gonna it, jump in it's anyhow. Okay, it's okay. okay. Um, now as far as him calling me an alien, he says that because of my skin, my skin does weird things. Like prior to me being pregnant with my son, who will be 18 next month, um, I ate strawberries all the time. Then out the blue, maybe, I don't know what, four years ago, mm. something like that. All of a sudden I'm breaking out in hives. Um, he made me a, a fruit bowl, had oranges, lemons, grapes, my lips turning black, um, so it would itch. I don't know where that came from, but yeah, that's probably the buildup of all those crazy stuff we were used to eating. Yeah. So he said on his birthday, he wanted to start eating healthy. <laughs> Okay, so first thing we did, take all the meat out the house. No, we did condiments first. Same week. <laughs> we did we did condiments first. Condiments. So we we changed from using that regular salt to pink salt, Himalayan salt, um, sea salt, or we we changed our our, our pepper because you know the pepper has stuff in it to keep it from clotting together. So we decided to stop using that because anything other in the ingredients. Besides the pepper, um, it's messed up for you. So if you read the back of the ingredients of pepper and it says three or four other items on there in the ingredients, don't eat it. If it says pepper, okay. But we use the pepper seeds and we just grind it down. We do the same thing with the pink salt. We use uh, cayenne pepper instead of hot sauce because now the hot sauce is starting to be GMO'd also. Mm -hmm. So it's just stuff like that. We started small because we tried to jump in it hard and we was like, we're going to do this. And then we turned around and was like, ah, this ain't working. <laughs> so we started slow. Started with condiments. And it's a lifestyle now. We started with condiments. And mind you, don't get it twisted. We still slip and slide now. Mm -hmm. But the majority that we eat, we eat healthy. Right. Okay? Uh, we try not to eat um, foods that live, like, say, eggs. We don't eat embryos. Uh, we try not to eat cows. We try not to eat the, the pig and stuff like that. And my weakness is pork chops. So from time to time, like in, in a three month span, I'll be like, oh man. And I, you know, the, the place that I go and get it, I'll probably get one pork chop. And then they turn around and be like, no, you might as well get me three. And I use Ketwas, uh clean me out pills with some green tea and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Ketwas? <laughs> Thank you, my brother. <laughs> but yeah, um, 
I mean, it's the stuff that you got to get into. So um, we started with the condiments and then we started with not having any meats and any canned foods in our, um, in our house. So we don't have any of that in our house at this present time. And we tried to use more of a plant-based um, palette. Now, mind you, our plant-based palette was just one or maybe two. So we was getting bored real quick. So we had to go out here and learn. So we tried to find uh, black chefs out here, Chef TR, um, Chef She, or She the Chef, um, and Cheryl. Cheryl. Yeah, vibrant. Is alkaline, it, vibrant. alkaline, vibrant. That's it? Oh, okay, that's it. What she said. And um, these are uh, women that we look up to that um, that shows us and we've been to their um, expos and stuff like that and their events. And we learned how to make more food plant based um, and alkaline. So um, I would tell anybody if you wanted to start just start learning your body and then learning what's good for your body like salt wasn't good for me it blew my face up. So I had to learn how to switch up. So Go ahead, Elia. Oh, I was talking, but you took over. Oh, my bad. <laughs> but um, from then and still to the day, I still have to, I have to ask every time I eat something different, like what's in that? I don't feel like breaking out hives. It's, it's not comfortable. It's not fun. So if I can't make my own things, I just have to watch carefully and ask questions. And then I'll be like, well, no, that has such and such in it. I can't do it. I won't even do it. So um, that entail came with a lot of things as far as not only our inside, but our outside. Um, I had a perm since I was like eight years old. So my hair was down to here. Um, about five years ago, I did a big chop, cut it into a mohawk. Now grew all the back and it's back down to here with these twists. So started making stuff for the hair. Um, a Nubian, um, our Nubian duo um, for the moisturizer, um, the tangalizing. And then I'm like, okay, well, we got to do stuff for more females also. Started doing Yanni steams um, as well as selling the honey pot. Um, a lot of females aren't educated when they go to the doctor. You know, these doctors out here, they'll tell you stuff that you need to <laughs> properly detox your body around that time of the month. Um, and that causes, you know, a lot of females to have fibroid issues, endometriosis, um, miscarriages, and not be able to get pregnant anyhow. Um, as well, another venture that I'm looking into is to becoming a fertility, do fertility doula, um, assisting females and males um, to help to be able to conceive. Because again, you go to the doctor, they tell you, oh, you, you got such and such. You, you just can't get pregnant and they leave it like that. They're not educating the women out here. As well, when you go into the hospital to deliver, a lot of females are dying while they're having their children because they're not getting the proper attention that they need. So I see a lot of people switching to home births. That's awesome. Me personally, I don't know if I could do a natural, but- What you mean? You're not having no more kids? Shut up, boy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Anyhow. <laughs> But that's it's just, it takes a whole learning process to learn your body inside and out. Um, we're still learning. That's why we ask a lot of questions. That's why we try to have these expos. We try to learn from other people. We try to befriend people to try to learn what we don't know mm -hmm. and what other people don't know so that we can work, we, work with each other to educate other people. So definitely, if you know anybody that needs information, tell them to log on, tell them to reach out to us, vice versa. We'll let them know, reach out to you guys. There's a lot of things about the HIV we didn't know, the diabetes we didn't know. So definitely anything that you have that you want to share, ask, you know, just let us know. What else you want to hear? Ta-da! Oh, okay, so <laughs> another thing is, um, okay, so you can follow us at, you know, melanatednaturalessentials.com, <laughs> you know? Or you can follow us on YouTube, Twitter, uh, Instagram, and Facebook, Melanated Natural Essentials. Holla awesome. Yay! Round of applause for the Owens people. <laughs> well, um, she still any questions? She still ain't got a background done, baby. She Listen. Don't mind my business, okay? She ain't got a background done. <laughs> <laughs> 
Don't mind my business, okay? Hey, I never showed you a trick and you didn't do it. Let me find out. <laughs> right. We Listen, done. I'm having to take the booties on my head, so you just you just relax, okay? Paris, you done. <laughs> no, no. Oh. <laughs> Y'all is the show. <laughs> um, any questions? Um, okay, looks like we do have a question. What is your take on physical fitness, and do you guys work out? Uh, <laughs> check this <laughs> out. Like, uh, let me let you know real quick. <laughs> you, look, um, when we started getting right and eating right, um, the next thing was the workout. So my, I had a brain lock on it. Um, but I turned around at some point in time was like, okay, if we're going to do it, let's go in and do it. So we met up with this dope, dope MC that works out. His name is Will Love. And, um, I think we did an interview with him first. Yeah, we did it. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. We was talking before the interview. So we talked and we bonded like that. We was building with each other. And then we end up doing the show and, uh, one of the things that actually stuck out of my brain is like when we was in the, the process of switching or trying to switch with the AGB and the Melody and Natural Essentials, he said he was confused. And I said, oh, we're not in the author of confusion. So, so we had to drop AGB and just do Melody and Natural Essentials so people know this is what it is. It's, you know what I'm saying? It was like I was playing patty cake, patty cake, and I, was, I, I couldn't do it no more. So when he said that, it was just like, oh, man. All right, so I got some real talk from somebody. So after the interview, we, you know, we got straight. He said, you, you know, he was doing, the, um, he's working out and stuff like that. I said, okay, well, where you at? He said, Planet Fitness. I said, all right, so me and my wife can come down there. And we've been rocking ever since. <laughs> so yes, the workout is definitely a must because I didn't know my cardio was that bad. I was, <gasps> still like that. stop it. I'm a little better now. Don't get it twisted. I'm, I'm not, I'm not heaving like this. I'm like this with the towel now. So I'm kind of a little better now, but I still got a lot of work to go. We just started like what, two, three months ago? Uh-huh, July. Yeah, so give me a minute. You know, we, we still getting this work in. So along with eating right, um, yes, I think you do need to have that workout going on also. But before we got with them, we was actually doing um, some power walking and stuff. So, you know, we take our little water towel, go in the sun and we do a power walk around the way and stuff for like a good mile or two or something like that. And that is a workout in itself because I was huffing and puffing coming back home. <laughs> I'm telling you, that cardio is something different when you find out you can't do it. Woo! But yeah, um, that's definitely a, a must. You definitely got to put all three in, in together. So as far as the mental, as far as the physical and the eating right, you have to put all those three together so you could be on point. Inside and out. That's what I'm talking about, baby. You're running. Uh, <laughs> all right. So, Paris, she still don't have the background. She still don't got the background. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we actually how you, have. How, you cut, how, you cut, how do you cut it off? <laughs> oh, now she want to black out. Oh. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so we actually have an anonymous question from someone. Um, it says, will, uh, will Kimberly Bowman and Melanated Natural Essentials have another Health Expo virtual event this year? This event was super informative. I don't know. Are Not we? This year. Maybe this next year. year. Next year? We'll talk about it. <laughs> well, I'm <laughs> in either way. So, <laughs> so I'm in either way. So whoever asked that question, Kim is in. But we we gonna work on it. We gonna let y'all know. We 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 we. I want to know who this informative person is. <laughs> Not wanting to be known out in these streets. <laughs> it just says anonymous attendee. So whoever. Right. You are, we appreciate the question, and thank you very much. Um, you uh, to, is to, I actually wanted to say something. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> I actually want to say something. I was um while you were talking, I was actually going through your website, and y'all prices are like amazing. Like, oh, thank whenever, you. Whenever whenever I look at for um natural essentials myself, they usually can be really expensive, especially sage. And when it comes down to like um beard oils, because I have a beard and um, my skin is really weird when it comes down to beard oils, so I'm. Mm -hmm. uh, Definitely be racking up on y'all website. Okay? <laughs> 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 
All right. Oh uh, so, no, we we we. Oh, I'm sorry, Kim. No, we, we did that with the pricing for the community. We we don't. We want to make money, but we want we want our community to know what it is to have a healthy product that works for you. You know what I'm saying? So that's why we did the prices we did. And mind you, our product a little goes a long way. Well. Yeah, well, a little goes a long way. I, I tell you, all you have to do is put in the palm of your hand. So your hair right now, you would probably need five. You would you would sit up there necessary. You would get the back real quick, the sides, and you would take two more, one on this side, one on this side, and I guarantee it'll suck that bad boy up real quick. There's no um, what we call it um, <laughs> but you have it when you have in your hair and with the regular soap, and you have sulfur. a part of sulfur. In. Huh? Sulfur. You talking about sulfur? Yeah, you ain't got that, but yeah. it's something else. I'm sorry, I can't remember the the the, the damn name right now. But. Um, it doesn't leave any um, residue. There you go, that one. Mm-hmm. Quick and clean. You'd be mad because you'd be like, "Where? Well, I never had this product before. Can my <laughs> dress clean?" <laughs> I got you. I'll definitely try it. Definitely try it. But I'm head out, y'all. All it right. Thank you. Thank you. Thing. Thank you so much, Paris. You were awesome. Thank you for having us. And I'll talk to y'all later. <laughs> All right. All righty. Um, well, is our pain. Huh? Uh-huh. We'll love raise his hand. We'll love yeah. raise his hand. Oh, he wants he wants to be known. Uh, did did you have another question or I think because I got this one I didn't know if he was like acknowledging that he was the the anonymous one or what. I don't know <laughs> I don't know but hi <laughs> I didn't know if that was just a wave or what <laughs> um. Okay. Do you want to talk? You want to talk? He, he said. He it? said I had a darn question. So we. Oh should... yeah. Okay. So okay. Put him on. He got a darn. Uh, let's see. He said, "Let him in." Oh. I shoot. don't see any requests or anything like that. Um, you are go. now there able to talk. Go. Oh there shoot. He in the car. He in the car. Y'all can hear me. Yeah, we can hear you. Oh. Hey, that, no, that's, that's the album cover. <laughs> I, got a, I, I got a question though like um so can y'all explain explain to uh people even myself uh educate educate me real quick on like which ways like you know your body talks to you um kind of let you know you know like you know you eat bad like kind of I, I can give an example um like maybe you know your face may break out or whatnot you know maybe you might be had too too much salty foods or or, or whatnot um, or maybe too too many sweets and things like that. Can y'all like kind of break down and go into depth a little bit about which ways you know your body uh, talks to you that some people need to be aware of? You know, because some people you know energy levels are low because they're not eating certain foods and stuff like that. So can y'all break that down for you know for me and the people? All right, you, you want to break it down? Or you? I'll jump in. Okay. Uh, so um, say if, if your face was starting to break out. All right, so one, you may not be drinking water the way you need to. And mind you, not all water is the same water. Some of that water is just nasty for you. So you have to figure out which water is good for you that's alkaline, that's act, that actually works. So you could test it if you want to, or you could just take somebody else's uh, word for it or whatever. Yeah, we mess with eternal water. So um, another thing is for your face. That's your body talking to you now. Your body sitting up there saying, look, it's clogging the pores up. So that's why it's doing what it's doing. Okay, so when you drink in the water to keep you hydrated, you also have to clean your face. Now with mine, I just use regular raw black soap and, um, and a washcloth. I'm good. Um, my wife is different. Like I said, she's an alien. So baby, what do you use on your face? <laughs> I do use the, the, the raw black soap, but I also go behind it either with rose water or witch hazel. And what does the rose water do, baby? See how shiny my face is? It's oily. Yes, it is. <laughs> this is actually natural. The rose water makes it even more oily. Not necessarily oily, but it makes it glow more. Yeah, but it keeps it oily, you know, your face from being oily too. Yeah, that's what that's where the glow comes from. Okay. But that's that's a natural glow. That's not and why do you oil. use witch hazel, baby? To me, sometimes my face still feels dirty. You see that? But I think that's just me because that's just her. prior to me switching over, I was always, always using alcohol to clean my face. But I notice sometimes in some spots it'd be lighter than the rest. And that's because the alcohol was kind of mm. 
See, ladies, my, my skin, basically. Yep. See, ladies and gentlemen, so this right here is all in the mind. She don't even use, need to use that witch hazel. The black soap and that um the rose water was good enough. But that evens out your tone also. Right. What? The, the witch hazel? hazel? She don't need to use that witch hazel, though. Whatever. Her skin tone is great. Yo, if you look at her, you still be thinking she my daughter. So anyway... Um, so those are the those are the things you can look for if you your face was breaking out and stuff like that. Then you have to figure out was it something that you ate? You might be allergic to something, so you might have to try that. Or it might have been something you've been eating for years and it just finally caught up to you and your body said, "I don't want to do this no more." Like me. So you got to look at it like that. It's it's different ways you could look at it. So those are options you could do. I mean, for yourself, you could just probably use water. Um, uh, black soap. Water and black soap, that's all you need. But it, like I said, my wife has oily skin, so that's why she uses the rose water. Um, and like she also said, if, if you feel, I, this is, I think it's in the brain, because I, I don't see nothing wrong with her. But if you feel that you want an extra cleanse, then you would use the witch hazel. Because like she said, it even tones your skin too. So, But black soap even tones your skin also. So like I said, it is what it is. That's my wife. And I'm gonna stick to her word on that because she might end up beating me up later on. Yep. Um, also, with like the food you eat uh, as well, um, if you eat too much of something, it can set your stomach off. Um, if something has too much grease in it, it'll set your stomach off. Mm. Even sometimes too much oil. So you have to pay attention to the types of oil that you cook with. Like we use grapeseed oil. So put just enough in your food, don't overdo it. Because you're right. overdoing it too much, that will mess with you as well. So pay attention to like the grape seed, the sunflower oil, the avocado oil. Try to rotate them if you can. Um, that way your body isn't building up too much oil. Right, so the, the grape seed oil, the avocado, and what's the other one? Sunflower. Sunflower, those are oils you can cook in. The other oils you probably wanna use on your foods just to keep it wet, like say, um, pause, just to, uh, like, olive oil you could put that on your salad you know put some uh pink salt some pepper your salad is good I, I don't have no problems eating it like that um and it still tastes good so um yeah that was it any other questions um let's see i don't see any other questions at the moment um i don't think our other vendor is going to be joining us um, so does anybody have questions at all about anything that they've heard today, any information that they would like? Um, oh, okay, Charlize, is, uh, Ms. Benjamin is sharing some more information in the chat as well about um, her upcoming online classes. Okay. Also, um, feel free to um, message and chat with any of our panelists um, individually if you have particular questions. Um, we're going to have all of their information on the website by the end of this evening so that you can reach out to them as well, along with some additional health resources, information, making you aware of the things that exist in your community. Yes, ma'am. Um, so we'll have another question. Oh, okay, what's the question? Or hold on, let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you, all right, real quick though. All right, so you said, um, of course, water is very important. A lot of people, um, you know, nowadays can't, um, you know, afford some of the, you know, the alkaline waters. You know, some of the price points are kind of high. What are some, um, so I guess some quick, easy ways that people can make sure that they are drinking. You know some uh, some good uh, alkaline water with some high pH. I got water. one. So I'm gonna go on YouTube and and look for the uh the waters the the alkaline waters. They'll show you a test which waters is good and stuff like that. And most likely they're probably selling it in Publix or you know Walmart or all these or something like that. And you just swipe that bad boy up real quick. The waters don't cost that much. The waters that cost much is like the smart water where they charge us fifteen dollars at a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> um, an another option you can um juice like get your your watermelon you can juice it down pineapple you can juice it down or even if you um get some water you boil it and put it in um a pitcher and then put whatever fruits you want um like the lime the orange um what's another one no lime is good yeah, lime is good for alkaline. You no, you could just use lime. 
Okay, well, somebody like me that can't use lime. I use cucumber. Yeah, cucumber. That's another one. Yeah, that's cucumber. another thing you can also do. Just um, put it in your your water overnight, and then you can drink that as well. Especially uh, if you don't like drinking plain water. Uh, a little more information so those, on that cucumber. Are those products like lying to us? Like a lot of those products they sell that say, uh, you know, that it, it may not be certain waters, but like certain like, uh, you know, fruit drinks, they say, hey, uh, electrolytes and all the uh, other stuff. Like are, are, are these products, like shouldn't we, should we trust these products that anybody that we, should, that, that we should trust any company or should we just like just do everything like from scratch on our own? Well, I would say do it from scratch because if you read the ingredients on that stuff, half of them words you can't pronounce. Yeah, that's one. So, but two, um, I don't know, man. I I think. Okay, so. You know when they when you have a a, a you know mercury is not good for the body, right? And you know when your government tells you ah, a little bit of mercury ain't gonna hurt. Uh, you're not supposed to have no mercury in your body. Period. That joint is poisonous. It don't matter if it's just a little bit. So I would think the same way as, um, like, say, uh, these uh, energy drinks. Like, I used to drink, what I used to drink, baby? The five hour? The, no, not the five hour. I only did that for, like, a week. I hated it. What was the, the drink? Like, the sports drink. Oh, Gatorade and um, Powerade? Okay, no. I didn't drink Powerade. I drank Gatorade, but it was the Gatorade Zero that had less of the sodium in it. Keyword, sodium. So... If you drink enough of that bad boy, that sodium will pop up on you. So my face used to be fat because I used to drink a lot of that Gatorade because I'm thinking it's, it's returning the, the electrolytes in my body. But at the same time, I, I'm drinking too much of the sodium. So you could probably drink like maybe two of those in a day. You can't drink the whole six pack in a day and then drink another six pack the next day and another six pack the next day because all that sodium is going to add up to be like, um, you're not... Um, living healthy. Mm -hmm. All righty. So, any other questions that anybody else has? Anybody else? Any guy take us? Come on once. Come on twice. Ah, I did. So. I did have a. I did have a question regarding uh -oh. your. Uh, You're back. <laughs> oh, I was here. I was here oh, the whole time. So I see you. I see you there. I see you. I was just making yeah. sure. Okay. I was here the whole time. <laughs> I was moving around. I was eating and stuff like that. But anyway, <laughs> um, you use turmeric in your skincare, I see. So uh, could you explain? No, no, we don't. You don't use turmeric? I thought I saw turmeric up there. You did I see turmeric? I went you saw, on your you saw it on the web. On... You saw it on the website. I thought I saw it. If Maybe saw my it... eyeball got crossed. Look, look, if you saw that on the website, that was a, a mistake. The other okay. stuff. That... Yeah, we don't use turmeric, but everything else that you've seen on it, like the lemongrass and stuff. Okay. Oh, yeah, all that stuff. We we don't use turmeric. We okay. Still well, well, well thanks. Well, going. thanks for clarifying. Cause yeah, I did yeah. go on your, I did go on your website. You got a nice website and oh, very active. It. Yes, very nice. Yeah, but we I don't. Um, we, we, I'm still trying to figure out where turmeric came from because I never heard of do it you, growing up. Do you do a do you do a face? You have a face uh, rub or something to do the, the even the skin tone. Oh, uh, no, ma'am. No, we, okay. we, we don't. We're focused more on uh, body washes, soaps, okay. and hair, and, and a little bit of skin, too. So, like, say, uh, uh, we got grandkids. Um, mm -hmm. Some of them have eczema and psoriasis. Uh -huh. So, we, we chose to uh, have uh, body washes and shampoos, basically. And, and like, we use a, a hair, shea, and cocoa butter type thing to okay. um, after you wash up. And after you wash your hair, you need it to still be moist and stuff. So okay. we use stuff like that. I'm going to check it out. I'm going to check your website. I saw some things. It was really nice. And you make all your products, you said. Yes, ma'am. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, they are just stuff. so innovative. You see, you see all that stuff right there? <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> now, now, I'm the one that mentioned that how successful you've been by reaching out to the vegan community because you did say that you don't put any animal products in your food is that oh, right no, you don't all right okay that word no animal products and no cruelty to animal will, will bring will take you a long ways people okay. will turn their head on it you didn't know that see mm -hmm. learning something new uh, when I do my classes, I can tell you that most of my students were of other persuasion. People who look like me did not take my class. 
And also uh, people who were over 50, they took my class because uh, they're trying to feel better. But the but the um, the millennium, uh, the Generation X, they really, vegan, are really into no cruelty to animals. So if you don't have honey, you don't you don't have animal products, you're going to get their attention. There's a, there's a, uh, my wife got tired of me because um, we used <laughs> to do a lot of those uh, uh, events where there was a lot of not us there. And we found out that the only per people that would buy would be like the few that was like us. They walked by. They would come and support. Wow. Yeah, they would come and support, and now the other people would just come get information, grab our mm -hmm. card, and then walk off. And I'm like, okay, but you know me, I'm a giving man. I think all our people are like that. We just we look, it's just love and stuff like that. But my wife is like, ah, let's just focus on what we need to focus on. That's right. That's right. Because I have done those events too. It's a mm -hmm. waste of my, it can be a waste of your time. It really can. No, no, no. It was a waste of time and a waste of money. Mm -hmm. oh, oh yeah. I pay for those tables. I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But then, but then they do have the black vegan community. That's what I'm yes. talking about. They yes. have black, they have a black vegan website and they have a black, black vegan homepage and they will look at that right there. And, and I mm -hmm. love that part. Cause that, that could be like a base that base that we're looking for, that mm -hmm. we, you know, and so now that you're talking like that, I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. that could be the base, but then mm -hmm. it could be like, we still looking to get our community and the people that don't have that knowledge, that don't know, okay, what this is and stuff. And once they try the product and stuff, it's like, oh, that worked. But you know how it is. If it ain't, if it's out of sight, it's out of mind. Well, I, I saw your website and some people been buying from Jacksonville. So I will take a look at it. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. All right. Any other questions? Anybody else? I'm loving all this dialogue and wonderful information being shared. Um, I just am so grateful for all of these knowledgeable people we've been able to have be a part of this event. I know it's not in person, but we made it do what it do this year. So COVID ain't stopping no show. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so um, but you, know, uh, you know, you know what this is like. Usually, when we get together, we <laughs> we have vegan food and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So when you get together, we eat and we talking. Everything is cool. It's just like this is like more to me. It's like more impersonal because we can't. We can sit down and talk the way we're doing right now, but it's not like we're sitting around a table, we eating food, we enjoying each other's company. Not saying we're not joining each other's company now. I'm just saying when there's a crowd of people that look like you and y'all all giving off that same energy, it's just different. Yes. I I look, you're talking to the choir on that one. <laughs> <laughs> you I mean, I go way back. You got I me, mean, but then uh you talking to the choir. I like to answer real love question regarding uh -oh body feeling <laughs> real love you there you gotta you gotta um un oh, unmute them okay i can't i unmute think them. i i just yeah, did. okay thanks kimberly yeah i i'm very much into the health of our people and and that's why i have this class uh because it has to be people of color and i can tell you that there are signs when your body is not right that's how i ended up changing the way i eat uh, first thing I tell people, uh, don't dismiss getting your blood pressure checked because I thought I was doing great. And one day my blood pressure was 100, 200 and something over 90. And I was, I did not know I had a blood pressure problem. And I, you know, my lips were feeling numb. I was losing my sight. I didn't know those things were problems because I was so busy moving around. Uh, fatty foods, I'm not, I'm not, um, I just have to say, fatty food can cause inflammation and fatty foods can also slow down the, your metabolism. And also, I, I became a kinder person when I got rid of my fatty food for some reason. I, you know, the food that had a lot of fat in it. Uh, processed food is the enemy because it's got the sodium. And I like how they said when it comes to cosmetics. You, if you can't pronounce what's on your food in the back of the ingredients, if you cannot pronounce it, you may need to bypass it because you don't know what it is. So uh, the first three ingredients is going to have the most of. So when you go out and look, sugar is a bad indicator. When you go out and look and it's the first thing you see is sugar or first three things, they're going to have more sugar than anything else. That's the main ingredient. So I tell people that uh, feeling lethargic, 
um, pains, tingling sensation. Um, earlier, I showed a video, loss of vision. Those are, those are indicators that you check your A1C. It should be about five point. But if it's high, like nine or something, that, those are indicators. I'm not saying it should be, but it should not be 17. So A1C, uh, your doctor would tell you, I'm not medical, but I had to really get a, you know, you know, get a run through. Just like I do my car, I, I'm kinder to my car than I am to my body. So I had to really do a run through and see and get those warning signs out the way. Uh, you got that, Mr. Will Love. <laughs> she muted him again. I didn't mute and him. He muted himself. Oh, you muted yourself? <laughs> he muted himself. Oh, okay. All right. I, I, I apologize. I apologize. All right. Any other questions? Anybody else? Any last words or anything like that? Anybody have any positive things you want to share? Hey, Miss Benjamin, tell them where they can find you again. Thank you. Um, this these classes these classes are free i i'm a type in it's type in the chat at power meals uh, uh power meals at yahoo.com just send me an email and i will send you the link uh to my class and you can and that's how you register and um you will enjoy it because it's going to be live and i'm going to give you and you're going to have the support and i'm not trying to turn people into plant-based i'm just giving you more options to go with what you already have that's what's up awesome well we definitely appreciate you sharing all of your wonderful knowledge and gracing us with your presence miss benjamin <laughs> thank you thank you kimberly <laughs> i'm telling you i was surprised i was like i thought i'd be a guest i thought i was gonna watch it i'm like hey, <laughs> <laughs> well, we're Thank glad you, we were able, no problem <laughs> we're glad we were able to have you and you could share all of your wonderful information Damien and Demetria do you guys got anything yeah you can follow us again on <laughs> melodatednaturalessentials.com <laughs> or any site that you would possibly find YouTube, Facebook, <laughs> Instagram or Twitter you can all go on Melanated Natural Essentials holla at your boy holla at your favorite couple <laughs> all right so again i want to thank every single one of you guys that are watching all of our panelists um for participating in this year's fourth annual melanated natural essentials health expo we appreciate you guys so much we appreciate the support throughout these tense and uncertain times we are wishing all the best for everyone nothing but good health for you, your families, um, just continue to do great and prosper, and we will see y'all next year. Woo -woo. Thank, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. Thank y'all. Thank right. you, Kimberly <laughs> and the Owens family. Thank no you. problem.